Hello, I'm Brian Jackson, editor at Canadian CIO and IT World Canada. And we're here at the Canadian CIO Summit. Things are actually wrapping up, but we were able to grab Peter Burns before he hit the road. He's the CIO at Highliner, so welcome. Thank you very much. You were just on a panel about uh, the workplace. So we were talking about things like hiring people, the culture, creating that culture, uh, allowing people to cooperate together and meet the business outcomes they need to. So uh, you had a great acronym there for hiring people and thing, four things that you look for. Do you want to dice. share that? Dice. Uh, dice. Uh, whenever we hire, there's two things we do. We make sure that people understand what the purpose of the company is. What's our purpose? Why do we come to work every day? And I think that's really important in developing that culture. We want people to understand that it's great tasting seafood for a healthy life and a healthy planet. And that's what people are looking for today. How can we change the world? So our purpose is just that. And what we look for is dice. Determination, insight, curiosity, that's big, and engagement. Wanting to get things done. And uh, my feeling is, is those are the most important competencies. When I'm hiring, I don't care as much about the technical skills because I know I can either buy them or train them but I want people that can move the cheese. And DICE helps me get there. Yeah, and then, so you have that hiring party and you have to look for the right people that are going to be compatible with your culture. But then of course, uh, as, your, as a manager, you have to do the right thing to bring them into the culture. And you had an interesting approach at Highliner too. You say you teach all of your incoming employees how to flay a fish even, uh, even though that's something your, your company doesn't do anymore, I, und I understand. R correct. Uh, we have a, what we call, it's sort of like a college. We have a university for innovation and we have a college, uh, Seafood Savvy. And Seafood Savvy is to, when as people come into the company, whether you're a coder or a network uh, analyst or uh, in finance, it's what does a fish look like? How do I fillet it? What would the customer expect when they see it because we're here to serve a customer. So it's all about that customer experience, understanding what sales needs. So we send them off to this college with people from a diverse uh, group across the company so they can get that interaction about how to work as a team, what is this business really about, and uh, how do we serve as a customer. And you raise that important point of using the right language when you're communicating with the business. Right on. I think that's probably one of our biggest challenges is uh, communicating so that people really understand. And it's about engagement. Like uh, I use the example, uh, don't say that uh, you're uh, a long hose operator. Say you're a fireman then I understand that if I have a fire in the house, I can call you and you're, what you're gonna come and, and do. Don't talk to me about an upgrade. Talk to me about uh, wanting to improve the profitability on a certain product line. Uh, and that's part of what we try to teach is a common language so that as they're, they're talking across the company, people understand, but more it's about engagement. Because if I really understand what the end game is and what I'm going to accomplish, I'm going to be much more engaged as an employee. Okay, great stuff. Thanks so much for sharing your tips on creating that uh, really healthy IT workplace. Thanks very much for the invite.